This is it. It's the uh, magnetic air turbine uh, vibration generator. As the blades move faster and faster around, because they're horizontal and gravity affects it slightly, the faster it moves, the more an asymmetrical imbalance is caused, which causes a tendency to vibrate. There's been serious problems with the electric car, and I told the Chinese engineers three or four years ago, I said, you know, we tried the super magnets, the nano magnets, all the promises, and it just don't work. And it don't work because as soon as you take off, after you rebuild from a windmill or whatever, you know, it starts going down. And that means that your performance is, is too variable and your batteries to enlarge them, enlarge them, get too heavy, too expensive. So the key is the vibration sheets that the magnets are attached to that uh, move, move uh, uh, break the field lines in many sets, in modularized sets. And I would call it a vibration board. Huh? Uh, and it links the two systems that I've been exploring in the past uh, couple of videos. caused by the spinning air turbine and these circles are repetitive outlay of, of uh, uh, magnet sites inside coils there's 1600 coils here there's four spring surfaces here and it's attached to the bottom of the vibrating uh, uh, vibrator air uh, turbine here charging those capacitors you see that even the slight vibration that it's caused with one and if all 30 are in, it'll run two 3,000 watt rear uh, magnetic drive uh, wheel hub uh, 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 drive units uh, to 80 kilometers per hour. If you add another 10, it'll go 100 kilometers per hour. 
That's your commuter car that's totally self-propelled from frontal air pressure. per hour where it starts to become almost like a wall frontal air pressure, right? So what we want here is the air pressure not treated as the enemy, but treated as your friend, right? Reverse thinking. Instead of ruthless streamlining that eliminates all possibility of uh, self-propelled vehicles, no, you take the air and you make it the, the thing that produces the propelling power of the vehicle. You'll notice that at about 300 or 400 revolutions per minute, the air turbine begins to vibrate much more. Now, the, if, if this is uh, 8 amps, this one is 4 amps, that one's 2 amps, double it and it's uh, with a 48 wide unit and you'll have uh, 8 amps. And if you have 3 in front, that's uh, 20 amps. And by having 40 of these magnets vibrating at an amp apiece, you will have 40 amps. So you have twice as much being set off by the air turbine as vibrations than you do from the air turbine's uh, generators itself. And that's the key to a 100 kilometer per hour commuter car, which with some capacitors uh, needs no fuel and no batteries. You can see that if you connect these three in series, say they're 20 volts apiece, you would get 60 volts and you would have uh, 10 sets that you would put in parallel of three amps a piece at 60 volts. If you were getting uh, six volts, then uh, six times 10 is 60 volts going this way, and then you would like put together, together three in parallel to get, uh, if there were one amp a piece, only three amps at uh, 60 volts. So, of course, the more windings you put here, and the thinner you make them, and the more you can make the magnet go up and down. And what amazed me was that the slightest movement of the magnet affected the voltmeter. So it's not a matter of a great big movement, but it's not a matter of just a tiny movement either. The faster it vibrates, the higher voltage or, you, know, uh, you get. But the uh, bigger the magnet, and more powerful, and the more it moves, the more power you get off of it if there's more and, and the more uh, uh, diameter of the, the uh, coils is uh, one factor in the equation but the number of turns is the main factor in the equation. Every goddamn student and I'm talking about 60 to 100,000 fucking people probably in the Americas alone. The minute they start reading Nikola Tesla they get lost in Nikola Tesla. They may be using Nikola Tesla before they come out the other end. He's, his ideas are so powerful to them, you know, so mysterious. They can't build the shit, so they read his books and they read the commentaries on his books and they get totally swept away to 1922 or 1913 level technology. Do you see what I'm saying? They're not able to have independent thought of powerful thinkers. Like an independent thought of Niels Bohr or J. Albert Einstein. See?